we have nothing to discuss. Hmm. Your associate here disagrees. According to her, you are prepared to strike against Mr. Karpov. What Maximista her meant Her meaning what... was unmistakable. And unless you care to explain, I have to assume that she's right and you're about to start a mob war. All right, let's get something straight. This is not my associate. Mr. Karpov and I made an agreement. I plan on honoring it. Unless he makes a move against me, all bets are off. But Spinelli was run down in front of Karpov's warehouse. Yeah, Max, Misa, perhaps it would be best not to deal with You're lucky that Spinelli's okay, and if anything ever happens to him... I, I, look, I, I am perfectly capable of dealing with this Slavic seductress. Look, no one working for Mr. Karpov had anything to do with the unfortunate incident. I came here to give you my personal assurances. You've done it. Goodbye. Well, she was totally lying. Stone Cold Max was only trying to That's defend That's enough. Us. You guys keep messing around like this. Somebody is going to get killed. You have to come at things from a position of strength. Like, if your magazine wants to do a layout with a hot new designer or a profile on a star, you don't actually say that. You just let them think that you're going to do them a favor. Well, I, I fail to see the correlation between celebrity gossip and possibly inciting a mob war. It's the same principle. If a rival mobster's ice queen lawyer strolls in in a business suit that's trying way too hard and starts throwing around veiled threats, you have to back her down. And by the way, anyone can shoot a gun. It takes real skill to pull off negotiation. Stone Cold is not as trigger happy as you may think. Yeah. How long ago? No, I'm I'm gonna handle it. Are we going to the mattresses? You are upstairs. You can take a nap. Let's go. Come on. <sighs> Just get stand up. Get his pillows and blankets. You should say please. It's polite. Get his pillows and blankets. Now that you have all this secret mob stuff to you, aren't you really glad that I'm here? So... Oh, it probably wasn't a smart idea, threatening the Slavic seductress. But Jason's really good at intimidation. I mean, usually his eyes are this really pretty blue, yeah, but... I, I, I think Stone Cold would take exception to the word pretty being... I can't help it. Jason's eyes are pretty. Except for when he gets all cold and threatening, and then they become like ice. The Slavic seductress was definitely scared when she left. Okay, yeah, which brings me back to my original point. I, I feel like I've placed you in a situation where your impulsive nature could, could place you in peril. Jason will handle it. And while he's at it, he can have these walls repainted, too. Oh, I could never ask him to do that. Um, this room was once inhabited by a Stone Cold seldom mentioned first wife, the mysterious and reputedly beautiful Brenda. Brenda left Port Charles years ago. There comes a time when we need to move on. Besides, what kind of friend is Jason to you if he makes you stare at these walls all day? Well, actually, I find them calming and kind of soothing. You know, studies have indicated that the color pink um, has a subduing effect on violent prison inmates and libidinous impulses. So pink kills your sex drive? Well, the study has a, a considerable margin of error and individual reactions may vary widely. Um, as to the Slavic seductress... So you think she's hot? Well, you were talking about your libido, and then you brought her up, so... There are two separate thoughts. Unconnected. If I ever have contemplated the womanliness of the Slavic Miss Donov, um, it was only to search for a way to counteract the power she was exerting over Stone Cold. That was all in your head, Spinelli, like a video game. Sasha is not some cyber babe in a leather outfit with a whip. Part of the reason I got so mad downstairs is because I just, I know that she had something to do with your hit and run. Well, better the jackal than fair Maximista. Had you been a casualty in the hit and run? I thought it's too terrible to contemplate. Come on, Spinelli. I never would have let a pair of Russian mobsters ruin my Christian cartulos. Those are the shoes that I was wearing. I know. But 
things you said to Carpot's lawyer, the, the way that you stood up for me. I'm always going to stand up for you. No. These people, if, if they think of you as a threat or even a nuisance, the cost will be far more than a pair of sling, peep-toed slingbacks. Are you going to try to start telling me that you're too dangerous for me again? The danger is real. There is a reason why Stone Cold has separated himself from all the people he cares about. Mr. Nelly, we both know that I'm not a good person. I'd like to think I'm not completely screwed up thanks to a few people who have believed in me in my life. After Georgie and Coop died, I was ready to self-destruct and follow my worst impulses. And I didn't, thanks to you. So yes, I am grateful that you pushed me out of the way of that car, but you saved me just by being my friend. Who had been brutally beaten were discovered in an alley near the Pier 52 warehouses by a woman who was walking her dog. Police say both were holding Russian passports and that there are no suspects at this time. Anyone who has information... Mm -hmm.